Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. Uh, in the last episode, we've come down here to the uh, old only underground area. Can't remember if I already came to this room or not. But we're down here trying to. No, I guess we didn't, because all this ammo is still here. Sweet. And uh, stuff to make a uh, shish kebab if we wanted. Which we don't. Because uh, we're not using melee weapons. But anyway, we've come down here to the old only underground area to uh, basically uh, continue on the mission to destroy the Enclave and frag mine. Why do I only have one left? That's weird. I guess I've been using it a lot more than I remembered. Uh, should probably use plasma mines for this stupid dude, though. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, drop that there. And then I think... How about one plasma mine? Right here. That should be far enough that they don't blow each other up. And then... What gun do I want to use? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, use this against the Deathclaw. No. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. You know what? Damn. I guess just Pulsons are over. It's kind of my only. No, he's really far away. I need to hit him with something that's good at, far... at uh, range. So, sniper rifle. Alright. I know I'm committing a cardinal sin here by shooting him with uh, the sniper rifle and bats, but. Oh well. Oh, and that actually, uh, did really good damage. I think the frag grenade will finish him off. Yep, sure did. Cool. And I think that's the last Deathclaw down here. I hope it is. I don't see any others on my, uh, magic enemy scanning radar or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, we're doing... What's the stupid quest called? It's been a while, I forgot. Shock value, find the ruins of Olney Power Works. Sure. Trying to find the ruins of Olney Power Works for some reason. Some Something vaguely related to, uh, wiping out the Enclave. Uh, let me just quick save this, just in case. I don't want to waste too many. Oh, cool. Got it. First try. Awesome. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And, ooh, lots of sniper rifle rounds. And another sniper rifle. Thank you, game. It's like the game knew I would be using the sniper rifle at this part. To be honest, kind of missing the Lincoln's Repeater. Like, uh, decent amount. <laughs> it was good for long range, high damage stuff when, uh, it was good for, like, medium to long range. The sniper rifle's kind of only meant for purely long range. It would have been great in that kind of situation. Oh, well. No point complaining about it now. The gun is gone. Can't do anything about it. Plasma mine. Right here in his path. Oh, come on, damn it. You piece of crap. Where is the... No, Paul... Revolver. Paulson's revolver. Thank you. Is he... Oh, he's hobbling. Cool. The one plasma grenade got him to hobble. There you go. Lucky me. For some reason, during the reload animation for this, my clothes started clipping through my body. It looked really weird. Oh, well. Let's quick save here again. <laughs> Just in case there's another one that decides to spot us before we're ready to deal with them. I don't think there's any... Okay, there's gotta be. That's gotta be the last one. Well, unless there's some up there, I guess. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's keep... Let's just try to clear out this room as best we can. Take all this ammo that we totally have tons of use for. And, uh... 
There's like nothing in this room. Never mind. It looked like there would be more stuff than there actually is. Okay, let's just keep going. I honestly don't remember why we came here. L I mean, like I said, something vaguely to do with, uh, you know, getting rid of the Enclave. I don't remember what they said was supposed to be back here, that we're supposed to be, uh, supposed to be messing up. Uh-oh. I remember this part. Okay. Let's get the sniper rifle. Sec this actually is uh, a really cool section, in my opinion. I completely forgot it existed until I walked through the door. But, uh... Oh, is there a Deathclaw in here? No, there's not. Wow, thanks for getting my hopes up, game. Thought there was going to be one of those friendly Deathclaws that we could get to fight for us. But yeah, this whole place looks really cool, because it's a big building that's, like, tilted on the side. And, uh... Honestly, it's kind of funny, because it looks like something you would expect to see in a, uh... Like a Call of Duty or Battlefield game. Some, like boring set-piece moment where the uh, the place is like falling down around you uh, hold still hold hold freaking still one of you people please god damn it let's hide try to get back into hidden um, but unlike in Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever here it's actually uh, really cool because which one of them I think it was him that I shot cool got him and uh well, it's just a lunchbox I, I sometimes have trouble telling the difference between the, between the uh, lunch boxes and the bottle cap mines because they look the same well not completely the same but mostly um but yeah, unlike Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever, because we're actually, you know, encouraged to move around freely, we can sort of just explore the area at our leisure, and uh, actually makes it far more interesting, at least in my opinion. Oh! Hey! How did I not kill him? Jeez! No, 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 I... I wanted your body. Is there a little bit of him around here? Yes, there is! Sweet. That's probably... <laughs> that's probably the most convenient thing that doesn't make any goddamn sense. The fact that we can loot his body that fell down there by examining the little bit of him that's up here. I'm not even complaining. I just think that's that's funny. Why didn't the other guy get the idea to run over here, though, once we shot him? Probably could have saved himself from dying, at least, well, at least saved himself from dying via sniper rifle. He could have had a chance, might have damaged me a little bit or something. Oh well. Gotta eat up some fruit. Make some space in our inventory. Did I, did I say fruit? I meant to say food. But I guess one of the things we ate was a piece of fruit anyway, so... Makes sense. Is that it? That's all the food we have? Interesting. Unexpected. Okay, well, uh... Blood packs then, because they have the uh, next highest amount of weight. Cool. Whew. I seem to remember there being a lot more Enclave in that room than just those two, but we probably avoided some of them by succe successfully sneaking around. So that's okay. Oh, and there's somebody upstairs having a bit of fun. Find the ruins of only pa power works. Acquire a Tesla coil. That's right. That's what we're doing. Also, I forgot to set my timer. So that's great. I have no idea how long this video is going to be now. <laughs> I've already been playing it for like five minutes or so. 
and just remember to put on my timer. Okay, so that, I thought that was gunshots. It's not. It's, uh... Hmm. Requires key. Very hard. Great. Don't want to do that right now. I have a feeling that's a, uh, alternate path to avoiding the robots. Automated turret control terminal. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of robots in there. You know what? I'll give it a shot. Just a quick shot. A little bit of a, you know, the old college try or whatever the word is. That whatever the saying is that people typically use for stuff like this. Because if I can avoid fighting those robots, that'd actually be pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Um, <laughs> where, where are the things? Damn it, game. Come on. Don't tell me there aren't any in this. There's one. And that was a, a thing that replenished our tries instead of removing duds, so not helpful at all. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks a lot. Uh, shoot. I have a feeling we're not going to find many more. Maybe one if we're lucky. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not even one more? You kidding me, game? God dang it. All right, all right, all right. Uh, conversation. One of 12 correct. Announcement. Three of 12 correct. Infiltration. Recuperating. Resurrection. Most. Purification. Accompanying. Overwhelming. Transcribing. Reprimanding. Construction. Seclusionist. Announcement was the one that had three of 12 correct. Um... Hmm. Announcement. Oh boy. Announcement. Well, let me see. Northernmost. Uh, resurrection. Hmm. Recuperating. Conversation. Announcement. Uh, infiltration. Construction. Seclusionist. Transcribing. Overwhelming. Accompanying. This one... Does this have... Yeah, this has exactly three in common, I think. Let me try it. Yeah, exact match. Wow. That wasn't so bad. For once. Soft Softlock Solutions, Inc. Your security is our security. Welcome, user. Ah, that's a... That's a pretty nice uh, thingy. Logo? Saying? Whatever. I don't know what it's called. But hey, we're sneaking past the robots because robots suck. Who hates robots? Everyone who is sensible. Alright, I think we need to, like, shut down the electricity first before we can... Before we can do anything. Let's turn on the light so we can see a little bit better. That mm, might be an exit? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, these things. Are these? Can we do anything with them? I can't remember. No, I don't think we can. Even though I'm pretty sure that's a miniature Tesla coil. What, what's stopping us from taking that? Like, why do we have to take the one in there? I guess they're not big enough. They probably don't generate enough power or something. Um, can't, I don't think we're going to be able to do it from up here, maybe? Well, actually, I should check out these computer terminals that are next to the thing. 
like this one. Can we do anything with it? No, we cannot. Okay, fine. Screw you, then. Um, what's back here? Security terminal door. Think this... Think this might lead back to where the... Oh, wait a minute. Emergency electrical switch. Cool. Activate it. Okay. Um... Um, <laughs> why won't you activate? Damn thing. Alright, let's go through here. I think this actually might be... Ooh, cement hats. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's to leave. This is to go down here. Alright, alright, alright. But we still have to deactivate the stuff. Don't we? More mentats. Great. Remote access terminal. Blah, blah, blah. Alien power cell. Why am I not surprised to see that down here? Actually, it makes sense with the item placement for once. Huh. Uh, hey, healing items. Great. Okay. Alright. Need to do another one of these stupid things. How would we even get in there? Oh, wait. It's already unlocked. Never mind. We don't need to do that. Though that might be how to turn off the thing. Alright. Oh, we're not getting damaged or anything. Activate Tesla Coil. Oh, it did do a bunch of damage. Oh, whoops. Hey. Okay. Cool. So, I'm gonna take a wild and crazy guess and say ah. that just every time you touch it, it does a fixed amount of damage. And I guess they carefully balanced it so that it won't do enough damage to kill you. But, you know, as long as you have, like, a decent amount of uh, endurance. But this probably deactivates it, so you won't have to take any damage. So if you're playing, like, a non-combat character who has a really low endurance and might die from touching it, you could easily hack the computer and get it to turn off the stuff so it won't kill you. That seems like re that seems reasonable, I guess. Um, probably not the best way to do it, but oh well. Let's take one stim pack to give us a quick little boost up and then finish it off with blood packs because those weigh something. And now let's leave. Bring the Tesla coil back to... Scribe Rothschild, I guess? Pretty sure that's who wanted it. Either that or the old man. Also, <laughs> if I knew this was here, could I have just gone down here and skipped everything and just gone straight to where the Tesla coil is and taken it? And then been on my merry way? Or would this have been like arbitrarily locked for some reason. I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Oh well, deliver the Tesla coil to Paladin Tristan. Okay. It's not, uh... Not... Cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. Screw you, game. They're on the other side of the wall. Okay, that one's not. That one's very much... right here. Fine. Shut up. So is that one. Damn death claws. Stupid, stupid death claws. You know, you can potentially play this entire game without ever seeing a death claw. Like, obviously, you can't do this DLC without going to Old Only and therefore having to fight the death claws. But if you don't have the DLC, or if you choose not to do it, you could very easily play the game without ever running into a death claw because I mean there's like some death claws up here and some death claws like down in this area and there's probably death claws that wander around up here as well but I don't remember seeing any up there in particular but um yeah it, it's they're very out of the way 
uh, with most of them being here and old only. But it's just kind of funny because Deathclaws are such an iconic uh, creature to Fallout that you would think there'd be a quest or something that would force you, like probably a side quest or something, that would force you to fight at least like a single Deathclaw. But there isn't anything like that in this game, which is kind of... I don't know, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing. It's not the worst thing in the world or anything, but... Hail. You know. Seems, uh, I guess, like a missed opportunity, I suppose I could say. Alright, which way is Paladin Tristan? Oh, great, he's through there. Wait. Welcome. Oh, no, you're, you're Paladin Gunny. You're different. But you all look the same. Because you're all bald white men wearing power armor. How the hell am I supposed to know the difference? I'm not bald. Need something, friend? You honor us with uh, your presence here. Where's God, where is the bastard? Suppose I should have guessed he would be Welcome. here. Great. This is where he was you last found time, a so Tesla coil? Excellent. I'll see to it that this reaches the scribes immediately. You've done good work, soldier. Are you ready for your next assignment? We don't have time to spare. Of course. <sighs> I'm good to go. What's next? I need a break. Only it was tougher than I thought. I'm good to go. What's next? Based on the data you brought us from the relay station, we've identified where the Enclave is basing their operation. It seems they have a second base of operations at Adams Air Force Base outside of D.C. The only safe way to get there is through the presidential metro used by the government before the war. You're going to be on your own again for now. The rest of the Brotherhood will be providing a distraction so you can slip in undetected. Once you breach the presidential metro and get to Adams Air Force Base, look for the resupply crate. Inside you'll find your new orders, and hopefully we can put a working Tesla cannon into your hands. I don't want a working Tesla cannon. I don't have any big gun skill or energy weapon skill. Need something, friend? Like seriously, who told you otherwise? The Brotherhood is at your service. Ugh. These people never listen to me. Alright, so where am I going? I enter the presidential metro. Great. So we gotta go to the White House Plaza. Oh. Awesome. Glad I uh Spent all that time finding this place earlier, just so they could have me, uh, I'm guessing they want me to go down into the manhole again. Yeah. Just double checking here. Yep, they certainly freaking do. Great. Lovely. Fantastic. Alright. Well, I think... Since I already came through here, did I, like, clear out all the enemies, or... Even if I did, they probably would have respawned them, so I don't know. Who set up the ramp? That's cool. There's, like, a motorcycle here, too. And, uh... Some poor bastard was hanging from the... How, how, did, how do you die up there? That is ridiculous. No, hold up a second. Let me get up here. Stop sneaking. He was just holding on to this. There's no way his skeleton would have stayed up there. As soon as he died, he would have lost all strength and would have fallen down. So, I mean, e even if somebody put him up there after he died, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. He wasn't tied to it. Stupid thing. Whatever. Alright, I've already been through this area, and I don't know where the game expects me to go, so I'm just gonna cheat and use the stupid things. Alright. Ironically, it's back the way we came. That is still pretty cool, though, that somebody, uh, went and set up a underground little, like, daredevil ramp thing. Through here? Yeah, okay, great. Great. And I think, actually, uh, I think to the left, uh, once this path splits up here, I think to the left is probably to the White House, where we already went. 
while to the right, um, that's Pennsylvania Avenue, so I guess, actually, let me, let me check, I can just walk out and see, yep, that's the White House, so yeah, that's the place we already went, and we walked right past this, door to sub, sub thingy, thingamajig for President Metro Tunnel thing, Presidential Metro, locate the exit to Adams Air Force Base. The exit to Adams? Okay, I guess we're going in the back door. That's, uh, that's fine. I don't judge. You do you, I'll do me. We'll all be one big happy family. Something like that. And, uh, I think actually this, hopefully, will be the lead up to the final moments of the oh boy Ooh, let's uh just stay over here for a second oh good he walked away can I open these at all no and that's a dead end oh great caution lovely what's the red dot over in that direction for I don't know whatever Let's put a uh, pulse mine if, right down there where he was uh, standing. Because if he's going to come back to that spot. There you go. We can do that. And he just magically knows where we are. Piece of crap. Okay, not really. He did turn around, but still. Let's get a pulse grenade there you go have that buddy and have another one awesome would still like to know what the other red thing is for that's kind of worrying it's like through the wall is there supposed to be a turret there or something don't know. It's weird. Oh well. Let's keep just. Let's just go. Pick up shotgun shells. First aid. All that good stuff. Keep the light on so we can see. I have a feeling there won't be. Usually when there's robots, they aren't so, like, thickly packed that, uh, accidentally alerting one screws you over. So if there's going to be robots, I think it's safe to have the light on for now. Um, anyway, as I was trying to say, god damn it, you piece of crap. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Pulse mine. Jerk. Wow, you can hear my character hobbling. It's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, as I was trying to say, I think this uh, next section, so to speak, is uh, leading up to the finale for the DLC. So I don't think we'll have too much more to do. Yeah, I mean, too, like too many more episodes to do before we're done with the DLC. Which is good. That's very good. I don't want to be doing tons of DLC. At least not this one, because it's boring. Oh, come on. Die. Thank you. I'm telling you, man. Robots. They're some of the rudest people you'll ever meet. They don't insist on... They, they just insist on not dying. Ah! Okay. Fine. That's it. Targeting ch zero percent. Great. Come on, don't give me zero percent. That's bullcrap. Absolute bullcrap. Thank you. No, not the hole. The targeting chip. Thank you. So I guess that was the red dot. It was detecting the turret through the ground for some reason. Okay, I, well, I'll accept that excuse if I have to. And again, 
Stimpax, ahoy! Whoops. I think I accidentally uh, wasted one. That's okay. Open the door. Oh, is the light on or off? Okay, it's off. Good. I think there's... Uh, I think we'll want this out. So we don't go alerting everyone. Oh, it's another robot. Damn it. Why are there so many robots? I thought there was supposed to be a... I thought it was a ghoul. It looks like a ghoul. Pulse, pulse mines. <coughs> oh, I'm sneezing. Why so much sneezing? There you go. And we'll put that right there so once he uh, comes on over. Let's just shoot him right there. Alert him to our presence. Yep. He walked over the first one. He'll walk over here. He'll walk over here. Is what I said. He'll open the door. Come on through. Oh, or not. Okay, apparently he lost interest. Alright, I guess we have to open the door for him. And, uh... Oof. Come on, guy. Come on through. You know you want to. Oh! Aw, oh, damn it, he blew up the mine. Jerk. Oh, stop it with the missiles. Probably shouldn't be using this gun against him, but... Oh, well. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I don't think, uh... I don't think the... Hmm. What's, what's, what's a good joke for that? I'm trying to make, like, a... Fashion police type of thing. I don't think the RPG police will uh, be knocking on my door. Yeah, sure. You used a weapon that was inefficient for taking out the enemy you were fighting. Five years in jail. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Sounds sounds like a thing that totally exists. God damn it. Can we just let him go past us? Yes, we can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's uh, quick save. So then in case something does catch us, we uh, we can just try and try again. Where's the part with the ghouls? I distinctly remember there being a part here where we're in the presidential metro and there's like a bunch of ghouls fighting robots. I guess that's coming up next. Because we clearly didn't do it just a second ago. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Where did you come from? Alright. Alright, screw you. Yeah, like I said. Quick save, because I'm not putting up with that. I don't have any clue where that dude came from. I couldn't have walked past him. He must have, like... I don't even know. Oh, wait, that's him. That's him right there. He came from there, and he goes in this room and comes up behind me, I guess. What a jerk. Don't see me. Threat analysis. Green. Standing down. What an asshole. Oh, wow. Let's see what's in this cupboard. Some bottle caps. Wow. Or oh, is that... Are those grenades? Those are grenades. Alright, he's leaving. Close the door. Screw him. Let's, uh, yeah. Get up all these... Oh, wait. Microfusion cells and pulse grenades. Okay. I thought they were plasma grenades and pulse grenades. Oh, well. Alright, let's quick save again here. Close this door behind us so he doesn't pop out and see us. Oh, it's an ad. Okay. Interesting. Can we sneak past the turret? No, we cannot. 
Uh, but I can get up here. <laughs> and it can't shoot me. Good enough, I guess. Don't give me 0% again. God damn it. That's so stupid. It, it doesn't do that with any other enemy. It's always the turrets. Jeez, and I'm gonna die because it's shooting me and it actually does, like, really good damage. Stupid piece of crap. Alright, another stim pack. Another stim pack. And you know what? Let's take a Psycho and a Med X. Because, screw you, game. There you go. Jeez. What's our health at? Two, 299. Great. Another stim pack. Save. Again. Let's just brute force our way through it. Oh, God. Another robot. Another big robot. Okay, he's leaving. He's got his back turned to us. We can get in here. No, no, we can't. God damn it. No, 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 no. Stay up on the thing. He's trapped in the room. He can't do anything. Why is my character... I'm pressing to the right, and my character's automatically moving forward. That's so really weird. Don't... No, he's out. He's out. He's gonna come around the corner. He's gonna see us. You jerk. What a jerk? What an asshole. Both of them see me now. Great. Alright. Um... Whew. Pulse mines? Sure. Pulse mines barely hurt me at all. Because they're meant for rob for robots. So let's just, uh... Yeah. This, this is it's a good plan. It's a good plan. I, sw I swear. It's, uh... Passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Maintenance department terminal. What's in here? Log entries. We'll read those when we're done with killing the robots. Maybe. Wait, do they lose track of me or something? I think they did. They did. Alright, let's, uh... As long as they don't try to come back in here... Let's, uh... Oh, I think, I think he is. Oh, no. He's right on the other side of the door. Oh, no, he's leaving. Cool. All right, let's read these. Log entry AK197896. Wait, would this be the first one? This is the lower number. I think it is. Let's try it. Mechanic, DT. We're still having a bit of trouble getting the new SYL02 Zoted mainframe adapted to our train drive systems down here. It's going to take another 72 hours to get it fully up and running. I've been pulling triple shifts for the last two days already, and the supervisors are constantly on our backs blaming us for the delays when they bought an incompatible system. I wish that I could get to sleep and just get this over with. This is only high school bullshit. I'm lost. I'm freaking. I'm freaking, and everybody knows. Everybody's watching. Okay, 65. <clears throat> the switch track over between Adams Air Force Base and the White House main line is sticking again. I've dispatched a crew to repair it. I expect the line to go down no more than... to be down no more than maybe a day. We can shunt all the trains to the alternate inbound line and just run them on half schedule or something for now. Just a suggestion. Alright, 72. After debating for a few days, the power the powers that be have decided to change out the vocal interface on the Zoted mainframe from male to female. Why? So we can give it a cute acronym and name it Margo. Then they can trot it around for the press so we can all see where our hard-earned taxpayer dollars went. Wow, what a colossal waste of my time. Now I have to pull the mainframe circuit array and flush the memory, all to get a new voice installed. Great. Just great. 87. Oh, today was a beauty. I was called up to this uh, senatorial lounge near the White House station, and someone decided to make a political statement by spray-painting graffiti all over the walls inside the lounge containing more than a fair share of Chinese racial slurs. They must have broken in while I was closed and did the damage. Hooray for security. They really dropped the ball on this one. Never send a robot to do a man's job, I say. I spent the better part of the day scrubbing walls clean 
of that filth and installing new fixtures. Joy. 96. We got the new Sentinel unit up and running today. Pretty badass. Not only does it have maintenance capability, so I can remote command it to do repairs, but it also is a great riot suppression unit. We can use it if we ever have any protesters break in down here again. Finally, a worthwhile addition to the robot fleet. Okay. Well, um, just in case those robots try to break in through the door after exiting the terminal, I'm going to end the video right here, because I'm all out of time. I've actually gone over my time, but whatever. Anyway, point is, I hope you all enjoy this, and we'll be uh, continuing on our little adventure to help the Brotherhood do whatever stupid junk they're doing. So, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you continue to enjoy it. Bye bye